What's up guys, so I'm going to be showing y'all how to create proxies for y'all's videos. I know sometimes whenever you have like 4K 120 footage, the footage is not going to run buttery smooth. Now of course there's obviously some workarounds that can help speed up and you know, smooth out the process a little bit, but and this would be creating proxies. Now there are some ways you can do it, there's multiple different ways you can do it actually, but here's the method I prefer because it's more like personalized for me that I can you know, adjust manually instead of having to, I guess it'd be easier to do it in the settings and you know, set the presets and have all that, but for me I just like doing it this way that way I can you know set it myself obviously the most common way that people do it is just you know select the clips right click on it and then click you know render in place and that'll create a proxy for you but personally I don't like that method because it puts in a random folder that of course you can you can set yourself but I don't really care to do it that way actually so here's the method that I use so what I like to do is actually use a black magic proxy generator and of course you can set whatever proxy rate you want and I prefer to use ProRes 422 10-bit 422 1080p that's a mouthful but what ProRes does for me at least it runs a lot smoother than just the 8.264 footage that I'm already using that is 10-bit 422. This just makes a 1080 version of it and ProRes tends to run smoother on a lot of computers so I prefer it. So once you have all your settings set the first thing you want to do is click add and then what that does is you find the folder that you need to you know import the footage from and click footage you know mine just that so I just click open. Now once you do that it's going to put it in the watch folders for you and what I believe happens is that if you add more footage to this watch folder as you're you know editing videos getting more footage it should make a proxy for you if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong but I believe that's what happens. Now before I show you how to make the proxy if I pull up the info of this actual video file as you can tell the file itself is 27 gigabytes alone and it, I don't even think it's that long of a video. I think it was, yeah, six and six, almost seven minute video. And that was 27 gigabytes. This is ProRes footage being recorded that was on the Atomos, but I stopped doing that. I'm just recording on the camera because it tends to be a lot smaller files. So as you saw, that file was pretty big, but whenever I'm going to change it into a proxy, it's only going to be 2.13 gigabytes. So now all you have to do is just click start. It's going to take a little while, depending on how much footage you have, how big the file is. But for me, it looks like it's going to take a little bit less than a minute to do, which is not too bad. Sometimes if I have like, 200 gigabytes worth of footage it will take you know a good 20 minutes or so at least and that's still not bad because you can literally set them to do proxies while you're editing so if I wanted to I can just come in here still do my edits as normal and nothing will change as long as I have preferred proxies enabled up here nothing's gonna change in the video until it turns into a proxy and then once that's done it'll literally just update on its own and you don't have to do anything all right for some reason it did not actually link to the proxy so i think i'm just going to click relink proxy under the timeline tab and if i'm not mistaken it should just relink if i'm wrong then i don't know what's happening but let me just click open oh yeah there you go it, if it doesn't link for some reason just go up to the timeline tab and then relink the proxy or is it the edit tab so real quick, I know I'm not a big fan of people, you know, holding the mic in their hand as they're talking to it, but you know, I'm doing it because I'm too lazy to put a clip on. But as I was editing, I actually did not go into the timeline tab. I actually right clicked on the video uh, file itself and then I relinked it through there. It'll show the relink tab, you know, menu that I had pulled up earlier. But anyways, uh, also, I also got a new monitor. Uh, well, not new, my friend, he, uh, he had it and then he's like, I don't use it anymore. So if you want it, you can take it. He's like, but you got to carry it out. And it's like a hundred and something pounds. And when I tell you, this thing was like a struggle to put inside my house and to get out of his house. He had a two story and I had to carry it downstairs with Gary. This thing is heavy. It's massive. It's huge. Like, look at me editing on this. Obviously, I don't use it full screen like this because that would be absurd. It doesn't look as big on camera as it is in person. But trust me, when I tell you this thing is big, it's big. And if I have it vertical and I stand up, it's taller than me. And I'm 5'11". I'm not six foot, but I'm 5'11". But anyways, uh, yeah, let's get back to the tutorial. Uh, that's pretty much all you have to do is relink them, though. So yeah, hope that helped. But if it doesn't link, just do the what I just did to relink your proxy. I've never had that happen, actually. This is the first time, but it did usually just automatically update your proxy. Another thing that is cool is that that folder that you, you know, created the proxy from is if you open it back up, it does create a proxy folder. The proxy folder will have all the footage in proxy form in that folder. And again, you usually don't have to relink it. Again, I don't know why it did that, but that's the first time it's ever happened for me and I usually make proxies all the time. So maybe I did something and messed up on my own, but yeah, that's how you do it. I know that's how you do it because I do it all the time. So yeah, I hope this video does help you and your computer out from, you know, wanting to die because having to push out all those hard codecs that are not easy to run on some computers, uh, proxies definitely help out. But yeah, if you did like this video, go ahead and 
leave a like, comment, and subscribe, you know, like everybody says. And I don't want to be that guy, but I got to say it, don't I? But yeah, good luck on your videos, and go make some proxies, and save your computer a little bit of life. Have a good one. Yeah. Bye.